Uh, let's do the backlog. 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 Hey guys, it's backlog time. This is a show where we re do it. This is a uh, this is a show or a segment of uh, the podcast YouTube.com slash Twelve Podcast where we go through our entire backlog of video game, our entire collection, every game we've ever bought, we put into an Excel spreadsheet, and today we're gonna pick one of them at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. Nine sixty two four. Yeah. Excuse me. Ever growing. Yeah. Five forty two. Five forty two. We were around that last time. Uh, this is a PlayStation 2 game, so sorry, Xbox 360. Uh, the Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the PlayStation oh. 2. Uh, I didn't know we had this. I have to look into this, because what's on this? Uh, this is uh, the PS2 era, so I think it's like the first eight. Uh, yeah, it's before, it's before 9 and 10 came Included out. games, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, Mega Man 7... Mega Man The Power Battles, mm -hmm. Mega Man 2 The Power Fighters, which are the arcade games. Yeah. And Mega Man 8. So one through eight and the two arcade games. Yes. Uh, I didn't know we had this either. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I can tell you right now, I've definitely never played this game. I've played the Mega Man games before. Yeah. You know, but this specific collection, uh, I have not played. I do know that this collection had an interesting history. Uh, it came out on the PS2 and the GameCube at launch, and then the original Xbox a year later. Um, it, there, it was mildly, not mildly, uh, it came out and it got good reviews overall. Um, but over time, you started to hear about like, you know, it, it became like a controversial subject in like the Mega Man fan community because the emulation of the games weren't great. It wasn't an authentic replication of the games. That. Um, the big deal was on the GameCube version, they flipped the jump and shoot buttons instead of it being, I think, was it A, A shoots and B jumps? And then on GameCube, they flipped it. Oh. Because the GameCube has like that weird control. Has a layout. giant A button. Yeah. But, so they had to like. But they were still in the right spot. Yeah, I do remember like, though, like if you look up reviews from the time, like that was a big sticking point. Yeah, I would hate game. that too. Yeah. We must have gotten this in some weird GameStop situation. Yo, I, I feel like I wanted. Think so? Yeah, I, there was like a weird, like either sale or somebody traded it in or left it there yeah. or, or like slipped through the system and I just acquired it somehow. Yeah, uh, because I could see myself wanting this. Um, this was the first collection. Yeah. So we had Mega Man games. We didn't have all of them. No, I think we and had like one or two of them. This was the first time to get all of them. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, now we have uh, the collection. The legacy collection. The legacy collections. Uh, this is essentially the legacy collection. Yes. But it's both of them. Right? No. It no. is because the legacy collection goes all the way up to 10. Uh, this, only, th this is the first eight. Mega Man 9 and 10 were um, 360 games. They were Wii games. This, is, uh, this predates that. Right, right. This came out at a time when, like, you know, they weren't really doing anything with classic Mega Man. They were more focused on pushing Mega Man X, and that was like, but it was the era where we got like the bad Mega Man X games, like X Seven and X Eight. Right. So like Capcom put this out, and then they're like, "Let's see if people like old Mega Man," and people did. So Legacy Collection One goes all the way up to Mega Man Six, which are the NES games. Right. Yeah. And this one goes to eight. Yeah, Seven is an SNES game, and Mega Man Eight is a PS One and Saturn game. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, I don't love the NES games. Yeah. You want to talk about games that like age poorly? <laughs> like, yeah. Like I like Mega Man 3 because we had it growing yeah. up and it's okay. Mega Man 1 is not good. No, Mega Man 1 is like genuinely a bad game. Yeah. Mega Man 2 is fine. Mega Man 3 is fine. Uh, 4 is the one that introduces the, the Mega Buster. And I forget that that's not in Mega Man 2 and 3. The charge shot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, then like, Which one introduces the dash? Do any of them? Three introduces the slide. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's the early ones are a little rough. Yeah. Um, 
and they're hard. They're very, they're very, very hard. hard. They're hard, be, you know, on a challenge level, but they're also hard on a technical level because there's like a lot of slowdown and screen flicker that affects the way you play the games, and you you have to like compensate for that constantly. I think this collection actually fixes it because it's on more powerful hardware. I hear good things about seven and eight. Yeah. 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 I think. What are we looking at now? Is this seven? Uh, no, I think that's eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where are the power battles? Because those I started playing those on my arcade cabinet. Uh, it's actually pretty sick. Yeah. I think this is it. Oh yeah, the power battle. This is it. Uh, they're great as yeah. arcade games. They're pretty good. Nice. Uh, it's it's like a weird mix between Mega Man yeah. and like Street Fighter. Um, it's, I mean, y you pick a character and you're versing other characters from the whole like mm -hmm. uh, uh, the roster of of Mega Man throughout the years. Yeah. Um, but it feels like a boss rush mode of, okay. of Mega Man. It's like it's awesome. Um. So this you can probably you can emulate this pretty easily. Yeah, <laughs> it, it runs on a CPS two, okay, uh, which is Capcom's uh, chip. It's, yeah. it's their arcade mm -hmm. chip, um, and it's pretty awesome. I, I and it's something that uh, you would never be able to play on a console outside of getting this one collection. Yeah, you know, you can't just. Uh, Wait, is this not? Is this the second one? No, this is the first one for sure. Okay. I might be thinking of the second one. No, no, they have the same. Okay, it looked like they were about to load into a level, but it right. is really just a boss rush mode. Um, But it's cool. I think that uh, this collection specifically is a great way to try this game out. But also, if you're proficient in emulation, it's cool to be able to emulate uh, the CPS2 uh, uh, system. Um, the arcade games were later uh, released as part of the Capcom Arcade Stadium. Oh, that's cool. So you, you can get them there if you have Capcom Arcade Stadium. That, um, yeah, that's the game where the game's free and then you buy each game inside yeah. of it. It's like microtransactions yeah. inside. Okay. So that, that might be pretty cheap. And you can yeah. get that on the Switch. That, yeah. that should be pretty easy for people to, to try. So some of the things that this collection did... Um, the NES games, their sounds were remixed um, to make them a little different from the original release. Uh, Mega Man 6 rearranged the music incorrectly, like it mastered them incorrectly, and there was excessive peaking. Oh, my God. Uh, Mega Man 7, they censored the word damn. It was changed to darn. Oh, darn. Uh, the graphics of the Mega Man uh, walking away from Wily's castle are absent from the credits sequence of Mega Man 7 as the developers were unable to port certain N SNES graphical effects. Uh, so yeah, that's what I mean by like the emulation wasn't done properly. It's not like a direct one-to-one -one translation of the original system to the modern systems. Look at the horse guy. Ah. So... This is not the best way to play the NES game. First of no. all, the any well or the SNES games, I guess. No, yeah. First of all, the NES games not great. Yeah, already don't like them yeah. that much. Um, Only play them if you're like fifty <laughs> <laughs> or super into Mega Man. Yeah. Um. So already, this is a hard sell telling somebody to buy this, yeah. this collection. Yeah. And if you want to play these games. You can get them all elsewhere. Yeah. The only one where it might be, uh, I, I mean, not as easy to get are the, are the arcade games. Yeah. But you can get them in the arcade collection. Yeah. Uh, and that's basically it, is the arcade collection. I think is the only place you can get it. Yeah. Or this. Yeah. Uh, and playing the arcade games this way is probably not so bad. Uh, but all of the other games, you can play those uh, on the Legacy Collection. So I'll also note that the first six games in this uh, Mega Man 1 through 6 uh, feature what's known as Navi Mode. That's like a, it's like a helper mode for like an easy mode that was originally in introduced in the PlayStation, the Japanese PlayStation ports of the original Rock Band games. I didn't know they had that. Yeah. Does the the modern Legacy Collection have anything like that? Do you know, or is it is that something that would only be exclusive to this? I have no idea. Okay. But Sir Griff Griffick, uh, says the Legacy Collection one and two combo pack on Steam is twelve bucks. Oh, so it doesn't even matter. Just get that. I'm sure get it that. has an easy mode. Um, there was one other thing. 
Uh, I mean, it's a it's a collection, so they want they throw in a lot of extra stuff. Um, it includes artwork, music, uh, bonus videos. The PS2 version of the game uh, contains the pilot episode for the Ruby Spears Mega Man animated series. Do you remember that cartoon that we used to watch all the time yeah. on Saturday morning? Yeah, that Where one. Where Cuts Man was weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if you're gonna if you're gonna get one, get the PS2 version because that that show actually rules. <laughs> the GameCube and the Xbox versions. Uh, contain the Mega Man episode of uh, from G4's Icons TV show. What the fuck? Exactly. You know, f- who cares? <laughs> like, seriously. Uh, the Xbox version also includes the first episode of Mega Man NT Warrior, which is based on Mega Man Battle Network. Yeah, people like that. I know. I'm not. It's okay. Um, and the PS2 and the Xbox versions include some re- arranged music for the first six games. Um, also, the original originally presented in the complete works version so i mean look just get the ps2 ver it don't get any of them get the modern legacy collection because like that's the best option to play these games if you're like at a convention or like a secondhand store and you see these maybe get the ps2 version to watch the ruby spears cartoon or just watch it on youtube ruby spears what is that i know the, the cartoon but why, why are you that's saying the ruby com- spears? that's the company oh, ruby okay. spears is the company uh so i just i was looking it up uh there is there doesn't seem to be in any sort of easy mode for the legacy collection of the original Mega Man games right. however there are safe states and rewind okay so uh there you go that is easy mode yeah uh i guess this version didn't have that because it's playstation 2 yeah. but they probably even know to, to do something like that uh except Mega Man x legacy collection did have an easy mode okay uh i don't know what the easy mode did i'm looking at it a destructoid article right now Rookie uh, Hunter mode, an easy setting that just unveiled for both Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Due out later this month, the sets contain Mega Man X through X8. And Rookie Hunter is an option for every game. It halves damage, okay. but it also removes spikes and pit deaths for four to eight. Okay. That <laughs> sounds like yeah. way too easy. Uh, Especially because there are also save states for yeah. those games. Uh, there was a, a Mega Man X collection that was released like around the same time as the Mega Man Legacy collection, uh, the, the Mega Man Anniversary collection that we're talking about right now. Um, that was Mega Man X through X six. Um, yeah. So this was at the time when Capcom was like, "What happens if we just start collecting Mega Man games?" They're like, "We care? got this IP that everyone loves, but we, we don't know what we're we doing. We can't with make it. a new game with yeah. it." Nobody likes the new stuff. Let's yeah. keep giving them the old stuff. Uh, they Capcom has recently said they love Mega Man, and Mega Man is one of their biggest sellers. Yeah. Uh, but they still can't make a new one. Yeah. For whatever reason. All right. Uh, thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you at a podcast sometime. A live show. Bye. Bye.